I'm gonna quickly go ahead and pop open one of these like bootleg LaCroix or LaCroix, however it's pronounced. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. I'm doing pretty all right myself. Today for you guys, I have yet another unboxing. Are we surprised? Are we ever surprised? Probably not. That is unless you are brand new to this channel and if you have somehow stumbled upon this right here, one, I'm very sorry, and two, if you really enjoy unboxings of subscriptions and you found yourself in the right place. So today I'm starting off very bare-faced and naked mole rat looking so that we can do an unboxing and try on of the Deck of Scarlet for this, I was gonna say month, but Deck of Scarlet is actually a bi-monthly subscription. Every time I say bi-monthly, people say it's wrong and it, it probably is, I don't know. But the subscription right here comes every two months. Inside of here, you're going to get a makeup palette and another thing. And all of the items together are supposed to be able to create a full face of makeup. This is a $29.95 subscription that you pay for every other month. There will be a coupon code listed down below for the subscription, but it is not an affiliate code or anything like that. It'll just save you guys 30% off your first box. Alrighty, I have not seen what is inside this little box yet, so I do not know what the palette looks like or the colors or anything. It's gonna be a surprise for all of us. I have done some of these unboxings in the past, and I have to say I wasn't blown away with the quality of the eyeshadow. I have completely lost all train of thought and I have absolutely no idea what I said last. Oh, eyeshadow, yes. So in the couple unboxings that I have done before, I wasn't too impressed with the quality and pigment of the shadow, so hopefully this one is a little bit better. This is what it looks like on the inside. We, ooh, we have a couple little pamphlets here. And every single month, the palette is like put together by an influencer, a YouTuber. And this month it is Belle Jordan. She looks absolutely beautiful. And even in black and white, she is rocking makeup that I know I could never achieve. Okay, so back to the box. We take off the top little foamy part there. You are left with the palette and the little extra item for the month. Typically, I think these are either liquid liners or mascaras. It looks like this month we have a mascara. Let's go ahead and look at the palette though. So this is the Deck of Scarlet palette. And this is what it looks like once you take off the outer packaging. I do think the graphics on these are pretty cool. There's typically like a black and white photo and then like outlined and little squiggles. Alrighty, so there are two different sections to this palette. Over here we have like the creamy products. And I do like that they are separated just a little bit from the powder products so they don't get all icky and stuff with powder. Wow, okay. <laughs> so the top one we have here is Tempting, and then down below we have Passion. And Passion looks to be very, very plummy purple. Tempting is a little bit more tempting for me to actually try on. Oh, that was terrible. Ooh, okay, so I am sensing a purpley theme this month. Up here we have three shadows and two cheek products. So there is Supernova, Crush, Drama, and then down here we have Shh and Whisper. So Whisper is the blush and then shh, looks like a very like golden-y highlight. I guess I could have taken off the plastic sheeting for you guys so you could see them just a bit better. I'll go ahead and give you a little close-up of all the shades. So again, here we have the lip shades, the eyeshadow shades, and then the cheek shades. And then the little item that is outside of the palette here it does look like a mascara. Yes, it is. This is a sexy AF mascara. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to say AF, but AF works for me. So here is the little wand. It kind of like tapers down to a point. I kind of like wands like this because it does make it a little bit easier to get in those narrower sections. All right, guys, so first I'm going to do some quick swatching and then I'll move on into a makeup look. Ooh, Supernova actually feels really, really nice on my finger. Oh, Supernova. Oh, that's so funny. Just a couple days ago in a video, I was mentioning Xenon and I played the clip from Protozoa's concert when he played Supernova Girl. If you are like any younger than me, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but I'm not going to lie. I listened to that song like in its entirety at least three or four times that day. It's a good song. Alrighty, so I have all of my eyeshadows on my fingers. I will say that Crush felt a little bit, or actually a lot of bit powdery. However, Drama and Supernova felt pretty smooth. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get a little swatch of these. All right, so from these swatches here, I'm definitely thinking that Supernova has the best pigment out of the bunch. I feel like these kind of shimmery shades always show up just a little bit better in swatches and things. And the other two on the edges here, Crush and Drama, they're actually looking a bit patchy. Crush a little bit more than Drama. All right, now swatching the highlighter and the blush. Both of these also felt a little bit like powdery when I was just rubbing my finger around in them, but they swatched okay. Ooh, okay, looking at them a little bit closer, they did swatch a bit chunky, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend them out 
a little bit blended out. They definitely look a lot better. I'm thinking Whisper might be a little bit of a deep blush shade for me, but I'll give it a try anyway. Alrighty guys, so there were all of these swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and move on into a makeup look here. I do have to wear my glasses because I am out of contacts. So this should be interesting. I put everything I would need to do my makeup today in this box because that's about as organized as it gets for me. Oh, ho, ho, here we go. So I'm gonna start off with some skincare. <laughs> I'm such a wimp. This is from Insta Natural. This is the Age Defying and Skin Clearing Toner. I have been breaking out just ever so slightly, probably because I'm like more stressed than I've ever been in my entire life, or it's because I've been eating cheese, like a lot of cheese. Following that up with the Age Defying and Clearing Moisture. That little set was sent to me by Insta Naturals. Alright, next up sent to me by Color Science. This is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield 50 SPF Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. I need a sunscreen. I'm sure you can tell by looking at like the pasty white circle in the middle of your screen. I need sunscreen. And it is nice to have a in your face. It is nice to have a sunscreen that is like actually made for your face. And then next up from Ofra, this is the Cool as a Cucumber Primer. This is one of my favorite primers recently. I've used quite a bit of it. It's so weird putting stuff on your face when you can't see your face. It's like I forget where my face is. So I'm like trying to not shove this in my hair. And I'm failing miserably, honestly. And this little primer here was also sent to me by Oprah. All right, next I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay in the shade 150 in my Ricky Cares. What on earth is that? got little snakes on it. My Ricky Care sponge. For a while there I was only using Estee Lauder Double Wear which I absolutely love but then I kind of ran out and I just I didn't want to pay the $40 to get another bottle so I started using my Revlon Colorstay again and I have to say it is really like a very very good foundation. I honestly think it is actually pretty comparable to the Double Wear. I think the Double Wear might stay on a little bit longer and maybe give a bit more full coverage but this is a really good drugstore foundation. Every time I like pat my face with the sponge, one of my teeth hurt. I feel like that might be something I should get checked out. Alrighty guys, so the base is done. I went ahead and powdered with some of this powder from Iodun, and then I used a little bit of this Marc Jacobs bronzer. As I've said, very expired, but also very much not throwing it away. So now I'm going to be giving the blush and the highlight a shot here. I'm going to dip in very carefully into this blush because as you guys can probably see there, it is super duper powdery. There is quite a bit of powder kick up here when I tap my brush into it. And yes, I'm going to be doing my cheek makeup with my glasses on because I can't see. That might not actually work. Let me go ahead and take off my specs and uh, I can get a full cheek coverage going on here. Oh, I'm not really sure how it is reading on camera, but in real human life, I actually like it. It is a bit deep, a little bit intense, but if you guys know me, y'all know I like probably over dramatic blush. So, uh, so far it's so good. All right. So there is the blush on the cheeks. I actually kind of like it. It's a little bit darker than I typically go. It is reading just like the ever so slightest bit like I have bruised cheeks, but I, I kind of like it. All right, next up, I'm gonna go in with this sh highlighter. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I really didn't expect it to be um, this pigmented, to be honest. It is very, very gold. I typically don't go this gold because of how pale I am. It is pretty. I'm just thinking that it might look better on somebody with a bit more of like a tan or a deeper skin tone. Okay, dokie okay, guys, so I've scooted up just a little bit here. I'm going to start on the eyes now, and this is always like the most nerve-wracking part for me because I'm just still not good at putting on eyeshadow, so we'll see how this turns out. So I'm going to be starting with drama here on kind of a fluffier brush, and this I'm going to fly fluff all into the crease. Okie so there that is. Does it look okay on camera? I, I don't know. I personally cannot tell even from this distance. But now I'm going to be taking a crush here on a smaller brush. This one I'm worried about the fallout a little bit because it is kind of going all over the place. And this I'm going to be putting on this area. Poke, 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 poke. Because I am so worried about the fallout, I'm kind of just like jabbing at my eye here to get it to stick to the eyelid instead of just fluffing it around. All right, so I'm going to finish up this eye here and then I'll move to the next eye over here. I'll just save that for later. I'm going to take my finger here into Supernova and use this on like the inner, uh, the inner V? The inner portion here of my eye. 
Oh, I'm sure that's a great face. Can't see it, but I'm sure it's a great face. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just taking the same brush that I used up here because of lazy reasons, and I am putting it underneath my lower lash line. All right, so I'm going to finish up this eye, and then I'll be right back to dabble in some mascara. Okay, guys, so I have just gone ahead and slapped on some liner, so now I'm going to be trying the Sexy AF Mascara from Deck of Scarlet. Ooh, okay, this is a very, very wet-feeling formula. Wet formula? Yeah, stab my no! I was just about to say that wet formulas are not my favorite because I make a mess every single time. I just stab myself in the eyeball and I blinked and now I have black dots all under my eye. It is going on very, very black, but again, it is super duper wet. All right, so I think this mascara is okay for me. I wish it just gave a little bit more volume. It kind of like lengthened the lashes a little bit and separated them out nicely, but I want something to make my eyes look like bushy. I like to have very like thick full looking lashes. Length doesn't really matter as much to me because I do wear glasses so much so I just kind of like bat against the lenses of my glasses if they're too long. Okay now I have lipstick options so I kind of almost want to go for passion just because my eyes are already looking real grapey, so why not go ahead and finish off with a grape colored lipstick? So this is decently like pigmented so far on my finger. It does feel very um, wheely almost, but I'll go ahead and give it a try. Oh, okay. Um, I think I might change my mind. The combination here of the purples just is it's not working for me. So I'm gonna go over to Tempting now and uh, give that a shot. All right, so that looks a little bit more subdued than uh, Passion down here. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to wipe this off and just start over because I'm not liking the color that's happening right now. See, th this is how I make messes. Okay, not exactly a huge fan of Tempting either. It comes out very almost Barbie pink. I thought it would be a little bit more dusty and rosy. Okay, so so far I am not liking the lip choices at all. The colors just don't vibe with this purple and the palette, at least to me. They do seem to be like decently pigmented even though they're so thin and you could put it on with your finger, which I like, or you could be civilized, I suppose, and use a lip brush. But yeah, I guess this is it, the entire finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and put back on my glasses if I could see to find them so I can actually see what everything kind of looks like all together in the camera. Okay, so my overall verdict here is I'm actually pretty happy with with this deck of Scarlet palette. This one I actually think is my favorite out of all the ones I've tried before. This was sent to me by deck of Scarlet but this is not like sponsored or anything like that. I'm not getting any money. I've always been very honest with how I feel about deck of Scarlet. I really didn't think that the eyeshadows were super pigmented or anything but this month I kind of feel like the pigment was there. It did take a bit of like building up and I definitely think there's room for improvement but I think it might be getting better. This is definitely my favorite eye look I have done with any of their palettes before but the lipstick colors. I don't know. I don't know if maybe it's just me and I can't pull off like these bright of colors together, but they are not what I would have picked. But overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how everything turned out and this is definitely my favorite palette so far. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think I did a terrible job? Let me know anything that you guys think. And that is all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. Don't forget that we still do have the giveaway going on. It is going to be ending very, very soon. I will leave a link down to that video in the description. You guys can head on over there leave a comment if you'd like to be entered and I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!